decorated. And, and this is our mom, Gardener Shanna. And, and welcome to the first session of Camp Hello Gardeners! first time, our mom wrote this book called You Are a Gardener. There are some really special words in this book. Thank you, there are, and I'm gonna go through those words with you real quick, gardeners. So in this book, we believe that we're all gardeners and growing inside of us are flowers. And the flowers in our garden, those are the things that make us feel happy and joyful. What are some examples of your flowers? Um, my One of my flowers is playing with my dog, Diamond. Nice. One of my flowers is baking in the kitchen. Well, I'll tell you one of my flowers is making Camp Hello Gardeners. So those are the flowers in our gardens. But all gardens have this, it's just a natural fact. Weeds, gardeners, all gardens have weeds. And the weeds in our garden, those are the things that make us feel sad or scared or mad. What are some other words for weeds? Frustrated, angry. Ooh, there are a lot of words for weeds, gardeners. And as gardeners, when we see a weed in we our get, garden, we, we gotta, gotta pull it out. And how do we pull out our weeds, gardeners? By talking, talking, about, talking about, it. about it. That's right. When you talk about your weeds with somebody you trust, like a parent, a teacher, a family member, a babysitter, a sibling, a friend, talking about your weeds with someone you trust, you're actually coming up with positive solutions. And we call that turning weeds into seeds. Yes, that's right. All right, gardeners, now that we learned about our really fun gardening vocabulary, I think we're ready to get this day at camp started. So I'm going to head out and leave you with Gardener Anna and Gardener Aiden, and they're going to tell you all about the fun-filled activities we had planned for today's session. First up, we're going to head to our friend Gardener Ann's kitchen to learn how to make glitter Play-Doh. Be ready to get your hands messy. <laughs> Hi Gardeners, I'm Gardener Anna of Rebel Daughter Cookies and this is my son Gardener Jack. Today we're going to make Play-Doh, glitter Play-Doh in our home using some ingredients we just have probably lying around the house. Um, canola oil, cream of tartar, flour, salt, water. Jack wants to make purple Play-Doh so we're using purple food dye today and glitter. We happen to have green glitter lying around so it's going to be some purple and sparkly green glitter uh, Play-Doh. You need to start with a cup of water. So we're gonna use one cup of water. Jack, we're gonna pour it in the pot, right? And before doing anything on the stove, we wanna make sure that you talk to an adult and that you do this activity with a responsible adult. Right, Jackie? Yeah. Okay, let's pour the water in. One cup of water. Mix it with one cup of flour. Put it in the pot. One quarter cup of salt. Dump it in, dump it in the pot, there it goes. Two teaspoons of cream of tartar. All right, and one and a half to two tablespoons of canola oil or any kind of oil will work. All right, then we need our purple dye. All right, we're gonna use a couple drops of purple food dye to make this a pretty purple Play-Doh. Now, cooking for me is a big flour. I like to cook and bake in the kitchen. All right, I think that's probably enough. All right, now we wanna stir this over medium-high heat until eventually it all comes together in one big Play-Doh ball. All right, pretty. All right, it looks like it's coming together nicely. This is not a ball. <laughs> into, a, into a lump of Play-Doh. So now we're going to let the Play-Doh cool. It's come together in a big mound of squishy dough and we're gonna let it cool before we touch it and play with it, right Jack? Okay, so let's let it cool for a few minutes. Here you go. Thank you. All right, gardeners, we've got our cooled off Play-Doh in this awesome shade of purple, and we're gonna add some green glitter to it to make it really pretty. All right, Jack, go ahead and add the glitter. And you can, ooh, that's a lot. 
You can add as much or as little glitter as you want. It's all up to you. That's part of the creative process. And then we're going to knead it in. Jack, you want to help me knead in the glitter and the dough and make it really sparkly and pretty? Yeah? Okay, go ahead. You touch it. Hot! <laughs> it's still a little warm, but it's not hot. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to touch it. Look how pretty that is. Wow, Jack. Hey gardeners, thanks so much for tuning in and making Play-Doh with me and Jack in our, in our kitchen today. Look how awesome this turned out. Are you proud of this? This was a really big flower making this for me today. Do we get pink food dye? Yeah, should we do pink next? Okay, great. Don't forget to pull those weeds and plant those. NJ. Mason's little sister dropped one of Mason's favorite model trains and instead of getting upset about it, he told her accidents happened and went to go tell his mom. Way to go Mason! You're, thank you so much for spreading some positive seeds today. Gardner Mason as in a thank you for sending in your story, we're sending you a free Camp Hello Gardeners t-shirt. You are a gardener. Hi gardeners, it's Gardener Anna here. Today I'm going to teach you how to write a letter so we can stay social during social distancing. So what you're going to need is an envelope, a stamp, a piece of paper, and something to write with. Okay, so on the envelope you're going to need the person's first and last name, their street address, their city and state, and their zip code. Now you need your return address, which basically means your first and last name, street address, city and state, and zip code. Then, on the top, you need a stamp. Now, take your something to write with and make sure to write a letter. I did this ahead of time. I wrote it to Gardner Aiden. So now that you have your letter all written, you have to put it in the envelope. So, fold your letter up. Make sure to fold it the size of the envelope. Then, stick the letter into your envelope. Close up the envelope, and then put it in the mailbox. Okay, gardeners, thanks for tuning in. See you next time, bye! Okay, gardeners, now we're gonna head all the way to Utah to do some gardening yoga with Gardener Jesse and Gardener Lindsay. Let's go! Hello gardeners, I'm Gardener Lindsay. And I'm Gardener Jesse. And we're excited to do some gardening yoga with you today. Are you ready? 
Jesse, are you ready? Yep. First, we're gonna say hello to the sun. It is nice and bright. So you're gonna bend your knees, bring your arms up to the side, and then reach all over your head. Hello, sun. And then bring your hands to your heart. Bend your knees, reach your arms over your head. Hello, sun. Hands to your heart. Bend your knees one more time. Hands above your head. Bring them to your heart. Hello, sun. We're so glad you're here. One of the reasons I'm glad the sun is here is because I just transplanted a rose plant the other day, a rose bush, and I want to see how it's doing. Jesse, do you want to look with me? Yeah. We got to get a close up look of it though. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our feet to the sides and then we're going to raise our hands over our head and we're going to reach forward and then crawl our hands forward on our mat. Lift up one leg, lean forward and get a really good look. How do you think it's looking, Jess? Good. Okay, bring your foot back down. Lift your other leg up. Lean forward, get a good look. Foot down and walk your hands back up. I think it's looking really good too. All right, now that we know that's doing okay, let's look for some weeds. So walk to the front of your mat and then you're gonna put your toes facing out and then squat down. Do you see any weeds down here, Jess? No. It's pretty good. We've been trying to pull our weeds pretty regularly. What we do need to do though is do some planting. This bed is ready to be planted. So today we have some hope seeds and we're gonna plant our hope seeds while we're down here. You ready, Jess? Mm -hmm. So dig a little hole. Okay, put your hope seeds in. This is an Esperanza plant and Esperanza means hope. Okay. Now, before you cover it up, put your seat back up in the air, lean forward, and then cover your seats. Good job. Are they looking good? Yep. Good. Bring your hands back up all over your head, down to heart center. We have a few more hope seats. Do you want to plate some on the other side? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So again, come with your feet pointed out. Squat down as far as you can. Dig a little hole. And before you cover it up, put your hands on the ground, push your seat up in the air, and then cover them up. Okay, now let's take a minute. What do we need next? After we plant seeds, we have to? Water them. We have to water them. So bring your foot back, point your toe forward, arms out, and pretend you have a hose in this arm, this hand, and lean down and water. Water those seeds in. Good. Okay, come back up. Point your other toe out and point this toe in. There you go. And then arms out and let's water these ones we planted over here. Good job, Jess. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to heel toe our feet back together. So heel toe means you bring your toes together, heels together. Yep. Toes together, heels together. Good. Now point your toes at this plant and we're going to check on that. Now that the seeds are watered and ready to go, let's do a chair pose and sit and look at what our plant is doing. So bring your seat back, keep your knees over your ankles and just sit back into your feet. Good. You can put your hands on your knees if you want or hands in the air. Just look and see how those seeds are doing. I think they're doing good. They have water, soil, the sun's shining. Let's check these. Ready? Sit back. How are they doing? Pretty good? Okay, hands back together. Before we go, thanks so much for gardening with us today. We just want to send some hope in your direction. So we're going to do some breathing. So pretend you have some hope seeds in your hand. Take a deep breath in. Bye gardeners. Gardener Lindsay.
see what she's doing to stay active during the summer. Hello gardeners, I am Gardener Zoe. Today I will show you how to climb a tree. It's it might be hard, but it takes practice. I have a garden too. Come on, let's go. Now, step one. First, put this hand there, then put the other on top. Then, run up the tree. Then, move your hands a little higher. Then, put your, then grab this little knob. Then, gotta push yourself up, grab this, and stand up. Voila! Now, this is cool. It's like a house. And now, here's the exit. It's really fun. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have fun. Thank you so much, Gardener Zoe, for teaching us how to climb a tree. It's always fun to try new things. Hmm, I'm going to go look for the perfect tree now. Do you want to play a game called Find the Fox? Our fox is really good and clever at hiding. Is that him hiding behind that tree? Are those his ears? Is that him wiggling in that tree? Wow, Mr. Fox, you really are good at hide and seek. Thanks for playing, gardeners. We'll have to see where Mr. Fox is hiding next week. Bye. Hey gardeners, want to hear the joke of the day? Why didn't the elephant have to buy a suitcase for summer camp? Because he already had a trunk. <laughs> okay gardeners, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Gardener Vanola from Pennsylvania is going to teach us how to make the world's longest hopscotch. Thank you so much Gardener Vanola. When camp is over, we are going to go outside and make the world's longest hopscotch. <laughs> Jump, spin, okay, jumping jacks, long jump, figure eight, This is jump the alphabet. Okay, hop on your left foot, hop on your right foot, 
run. Hopscotch. Thank you. Hey, Wave Partners, before you go, we have a super fun assignment for you. Write a short poem about your one of your flowers, the things that make you happy, and record it and send it to us for for a chance to be featured in next week's episode. Our email is flowers at URGardener.com. See you next time, gardeners. Bye! We hope you had fun at your first day at camp, gardeners. Thank you so much for joining us. And stay tuned for next time, gardeners, when we have our very special own illustrator, Gardener Kelsey, coming to show us how to draw our signature Mr. Fox. We have some self-care tips from a 15-year-old entrepreneur, Leah. We're going to do some really special Qigong moves with Gardener Mike and more fun. We'll see you next time, gardeners, on Camp!